Hey guys, what's up? So I'm showing you guys something new today, and today I'm gonna show you guys a bucket plugin. Now I never do this; I haven't done uh, this ever before, but this is my first time ever showing you guys a bucket plugin. Now, if you guys want me to continue doing this, go to the comments, and I'm gonna have me saying yes or no, and just thumbs it up if you want me to continue, or thumbs it up if you don't want me to continue this. But I'm gonna show you guys a lot of cool plugins that could help out your server with anti-griefing, having fun, and a lot of other cool things. This one is called Log. Now what Log does is that when somebody griefs a block, so if you say Robot Fishy would have broken this block, it would tell me who broke it. It's a pretty interesting plugin. Now today I have Robot Fishy just joining me today, helping me out. And let me go ahead and tell him to break that block. You have to be holding a stick. All right, to get the information who broke that block from that exact location. So I'm going to tell him to break it. So now I told him to break it. Now he's going to break the diamond block. And let's go ahead and wait a little bit till he gets rid of it. All right, so there we go. Now he broke the block that was located right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull me any item. I could pull out a dirt. I could pull out a block of diamond. I could do anything I want. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place the dirt that was exactly where it was placed and now I'm going to right click with the stick and it should say placed by me at the exact time and the date and it's going to say destroyed by Robot Fishy. So now you know who griefed the place or who broke a house. So if Robot Fishy would happen to break a house, I could just place down a wood or anything and see who broke it. The cool thing about this plugin is that it does not cause delay or lag on your server. So let me go ahead and show you guys another cool example. Let's go to a griefed house that's been griefed on my server. So I was looking all over the server. Now all the houses that have been griefed have been repaired because of my admins and also because most of the houses are protected by residents. But I did find a house right here, which I'm gonna tell Robot Fishy to grief. And I'm gonna show you a perfect example of a griefed house and it should say that it's been destroyed by Robot Fishy. Alright, so I told him to stop, and that's perfect. He destroyed the house, and now I'm gonna go ahead and check who's the one who broke all these blocks. It's really simple. You just have to pull out a block, place it down. Now what you can do is you're gonna right click the block that you just placed down, and it should say that it was destroyed by Robot Fishy, and it will say that you placed it back down. All these missing blocks will tell you who did it. Robot Fishy, Robot Fishy, Robot Fishy keeps on going because he's the one who griefed the place. By spelling slash log, your chat window will show you different erasing options. Slash log purge will erase all logs. Alright, so let me tell you some of my personal little opinions about this plugin. It's a really cool plugin. It is really simple to install. The creator does plan on making a rollback, so if someone would grief a house, you could roll back all the damages. It is simple to use and I recommend it, but it doesn't work on lava or water. So if somebody would place a lava block on top of your house, sorry, it would not detect that. TNT explosions causing block damage won't show who made the crater. So if somebody would ignite the TNT, it wouldn't show who's the one who caused the crater. You would have to try to locate where the TNT block was placed. Overall, this plugin is really cool. I use it on my server, so if I had to rate this plugin, I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10. Once the rollback comes back, that's when it's going to be such a perfect plugin. I'm waiting for that rollback. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to really install this. All you have to do is just download it from my description, and you're going to drag it into your plugins folder. Let me go ahead and show you. Alright, so you're going to go into my description and it should take you here to the bucket dev and it should be right here log and what you do is you go here to download and you just download it. it's right here in the right corner and you download, click it again, download right there and it should be downloading, it should say it might harm your computer, don't worry, just keep the file and it should be log, alright? Once you got the log, it should be in a .jar format, what you're going to do is you're going to drag that outside to your desktop just like that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and open up your bucket server folder. Mine's right here. I'm going to open that up. You should be familiar to bucket. It will have a lot of cool things. You're going to go into your plugins folder. So go into your plugin folder where you have all your plugins. You're going to drag that log plugin into your plugin folder. Just like that. Once you see logs in that plugin folder, that's it. Run the server and it should be working right away. Hopefully you guys will like this review slash little small tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you guys for all your support. See you around.